Oh yeah. So in the last episode of the Garden News, I tried to start some kind of um, study into average allotment prices all around the UK, including Northern Ireland, Northern Ireland, Northern Ireland, because um, they're in the UK too. But thanks to those that did respond, but I didn't quite get enough to make it any results meaningful. I think I had about six people, and that was including Twitter and Instagram as well, in total, that uh, told me what county they're in and how much they pay for their allotment. So I really thought it was a good idea, but in practice it, it just didn't work. So, but thank you to those who, who did send in the information. Right then, this episode of the Garden News, big thing that's on the garden calendar, um, well, it starts on Monday, RHS Chelsea. I love it, me, personally. I've never been, but I love all the BBC coverage. Um, there's, there's loads of programmes during the week. There's a couple of programmes a day that the BBC do, and I record every single one of them. I'm watching when I go home because um, I'm back at work now and I don't know if you remember I work away a lot of the time so but I'm not in um, Kenya I'm, I'm back in the UK although some might say right <laughs> that I kind of am in a, in a foreign country because I'm in Yorkshire and I'm, I'm a Lancashire lad so for me them Pennine Mountains it is a bit like crossing a border an international border because the food's different they talk funny over there in, I'm actually in York um, and I'm not sure if the tap water's safe to drink neither so it is a bit, a little bit like being abroad but get back to the Chelsea Flower Show it's just a glorious, glorious festival of gardening completely detached from reality um, by the way I mean, it's not like Poor old Teddy, well he's not old, but poor Teddy King having a fight with his Jerusalem artichokes on his allotment plot, trying to keep them contained. It's not like poor bloody Mick Watson, that that man needs to cut himself in half. He has got a lot on his plate. He needs to split himself in half so there's two Mick Watsons in the world. One that can do all the decorating and private gardening jobs and one that can just be the thoroughly agreeable chap that we enjoy watching his videos of on YouTube. Um, take it easy Mick by the way flipping out you, you put some graft in you pal but anyhow Chelsea it's it's pure fantasy they spend weeks building these gardens to get demolished when the show ends not many of us would ever dream of recreating something on that on the scale of a Chelsea show garden what we can do though is get one or two little ideas that we see and try and replicate it or copy in, in our own back gardens or yards, or allotment plots, whatever. Um, so this year, there's going to be eight show gardens. They're like the big set pieces. Nine artisan gardens. And five fresh gardens. And the theme this year for the fresh gardens is, it's a radio two thing. It's all about the senses. So each one of the five gardens is looking at one of the senses. I've just written this down. Chris Evans has put his name to the Taste Garden. Um, and some might, you know, some people would argue that uh, Chris Evans and Taste don't belong in the same sentence. <laughs> mm. But and that garden is designed by John Wheatley. I'm looking forward to seeing that. I've read a little description about it, and I'm very much looking forward to seeing that. Being a a fairly new allotment plot holder, well, it's my wife's, but I, I get to use it as well. Um, I'm very interested in what we can grow to eat. So taste garden, it, it sounds good that. Right then. The Great Pavilion as well. I, meant, I mentioned the, uh, the fresh gardens, the show gardens, the artisan gardens. The Great Pavilion. It's over 12,000 square metres inside a giant tent, basically. So 12,000 square metres. I have no idea how many allotment plots that would equate to, but it's a lot. Um, and there's more than a hundred exhibitors or exhibitors that are, are going to be in the, the Great Pavilion. Now Chelsea is a, it's a place, I, I, one day I might get myself down there, but I've got to be honest, I'm not a big fan of going to London. Um, 
for reasons which I won't bore you with, but I'm quite happy watching it on the telly for now. But it might be an age thing. When I calm down a bit, as I grow up, I might uh, get that chip off my shoulder about London. I think it's a football thing. There's all kinds of things. Anyhow, I might get rid of that London chip on my shoulder and I might, uh, you know, save up a bit of cash, get me and our Claire down on the train and one year I might go to Chelsea, but not for the foreseeable future. Um, yeah, I'll just, I'll watch it on telly. So, about enjoying Chelsea then. Which bits of Chelsea do you enjoy? Um, do you actually go or are you like me? Do you just watch it on the telly? Let me know which parts of Chelsea you're looking forward to, um, which bits you always enjoy, which bits you don't enjoy as well. Let me know. Leave a comment underneath. Right, let's look at some photographs. These photos are from my wife's allotment. Some chives there, which are her favourites. Some Beautiful lavender. We bought that in a pot. Didn't think it'd do very well. Planted it out, and it's uh, it's thriving. So a frog. I don't like frogs, but I like the fact that they're on our plot, killing all the slugs. It's getting down with the hoe. And a row of potatoes, nicely covered over. So if you want your photographs showing in one of these garden news episodes, email them to me uh, with a little description about what it is that I'm looking at. You can send me. Anything you want that's garden related. Anything. It might be a flower that you grow that's your favourite. You might be standing in a queue in a garden centre and the person in front of you has got very low cut jeans on and you can see embarrassing underpants. Send me a picture of that. Whatever you want, as long as it's gardening related. Okay? Right. Next bit. Let's have a look at this. I've made a table slash storage box out of three pallet collars and the wooden slats off a wooden pallet. The 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 table top part actually lifts off as well. All, all the slats are, are battened together so it stays rigid as a tabletop and it lifts off so we can get inside the box. It'll get painted as well, the same colour as the shed, which you can just make out in the photograph behind the little table thing. Um, well... I never knew I had it in me. <laughs> if you look closely, those of you that know what you're doing with woodwork and joinery, it's not perfect. But once it's painted, it'll do a job. It doesn't have to be perfect. You know what I mean? It's, it's not being entered in a competition or something. The reason I'm showing you that, anyhow, wooden pallets, there's a million and one uses repurposing wooden pallets. So, if you want to, either leave a comment and let me know, or send in a photograph and I'll show it in the photograph section of the next episode of The Garden News. What have you made in your garden using wooden pallets? Now there's an obvious thing which I know loads of people, especially allotment plot holders make. I don't want to give it away too much, but it starts with K, ends in on post bin area. Wooden pallets get used quite a lot for that. If you've made one, especially if it's a multi-bay compost heap, oh yeah, multi-bay, a free bayer, right? And you're proud of it, send me in a picture. Because, you know, I've, I've seen some really good stuff just that people have made out of um, bits of wood which would normally just get smashed up and burned at bonfire night or taken away, whatever. So wooden pallets, what have you made in your garden out of wooden pallets. Let me know, or better still, send in a photograph. So that's episode 10. Oh, happy birthday, by the way. 10th episode, oh yeah. That's episode 10 of The Garden News. Thanks for watching, send in your photographs. Have a look for my email address in the description for this video. Thanks again for watching. I'll see you next time. Take care. Please subscribe for more free gardening related videos.